Welcome back to Darksiders 3 everyone. Wow, I said that with a lot of enthusiasm. Which is kind of true because I like this game a lot. It is a lot of fun. Anyways, I've been looking at this puzzle. Um, trying to solve it. I think I am pretty much 90% at the solution. So I think what you have to do is you deposit this little thing right here so that it eats that weird gunk and see when you hit them they actually explode after a certain period of time I just have to be probably a tiny bit quicker because my thought process is is that that's what you have to do you have to hit it and then probably like hit it and then probably with three dashes although you can do like a max range and then you're gonna be on it and it's gonna because it takes some time for it to explode and also for the fire to travel up it should be just enough time to you know do whatever We will see if my theory is true. It ain't true. See, oh, damn. I, I, like, I was genuinely thinking that this is the solution. Because why else would this bug be here? Because, like, if you could do it with the fire... You can do it with your fire weapon. But then... What the hell? Does this unlock something else as well? We have to destroy both of them. Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. What if you have to like destroy all the fire? Or not fire, but with this weird membrane? Like go up and hit that with the with this and then land and hit the bug maybe then what what the hell would that do i don't know maybe it's gonna like release some because the other thing i could think of is you need to weigh this with something all right <clears throat> don't worry don't worry as you know i am a pro at puzzle games I do actually enjoy puzzle games. Uh, one of the first... There are two games that I really remember as kind of like earliest gaming experience. Uh, the first one was The Neverhood. I don't know how many of you have seen or played The Neverhood. See, that shit is already growing back at that point. I don't think that this is it. <clears throat> this is not it. Alright. Because the thing is, like... I still feel like we gotta weigh this with something before... Before you have the chance. Because what is the point of this fire thingy? This doesn't unlock anything. It doesn't lead to... Oh, yeah, 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 it does. It gives you more time to get... Genius, as they say. As the Swedish say. Genius. That's what you gotta do to give yourself more time. Because it hits the bug... Jeez. Alright. I got you, game. I see you. I see you. Because it pops over. Holy shit, yeah. Okay, I knew there was something about that fire membrane. That extra one. <clears throat> it's such a disgusting word, right? I can't be the only one that thinks membrane has like some gross connotation. I don't know. feel like it does. Damn, that was some 
puzzle platform action here. Did I ever, ever finish my thought on the games? So yeah, one of my two earliest uh, gaming experiences, one of them was Need for Speed 2, which I like, really, really remember. The other one... The other one... These dudes have to eat shit, because I'm not about to die to them. The other one was the Neverhood. Oh yeah, I did kind of talk about the Neverhood. It was the... It was this puzzle game. Uh, entirely made with stop-motion clay animation. It was actually really, really good. And... Alright. Again, I like really remember that, playing that. It was a fun game. Still holds up though. They tried making a sequel to it, but it wasn't as good. It wasn't as kind of creative, because the Neverhood is absolutely crazy. Like the music, the visuals, everything is so good. Uh, you know shit is going down when the choir is getting involved. <laughs> how, how do I never find this? Or how do I not realize there is always a switch? Cool. The other thing I always forget is that you can run fast in this game. Faster. There isn't another one, right, that we need? Oh yeah, <laughs> it's so automatic that you want to. That you want to avoid lava. Same as Metroid, you know. It kind of feels weird to just walk into it with the various suit. Sick. Alright. Don't know what the three of you are gonna do, but... Holy shit. That's how you make a platform. Yeah, I, I knew that was gonna happen. As soon as I did it, I was like... Fuck, that's... I screwed that one up. Screwed the pooch on that one, as they say. But... I did find the treasure because of it. <clears throat> so anyways, yeah, this game I still I'm still like, I'm enjoying it more and more um, Definitely If you're put off by the Sort of, what the hell By the negative critical reaction this game got Don't be, because It's good Hashtag sponsored by Darksiders 3. Oh. Okay. Gotta go from the top. Gotta go fast. See, the thing is, like... Weirdly, on YouTube now, you gotta declare if you're being sponsored. And luckily, most YouTubers have gotten better about it. Because it does break the terms of service if you don't. Because I remember... What the hell? Excuse me? Because I remember way back, 2013, 14, before they added that, people were absolutely crazy with it. Mistress, so, like, they didn't say anything. Do you hear it? Shh. Gotta stay quiet. She looks so plasticky, the watcher. This I said this before. We seek. Let us carry on. Wait. The Maker. Owe him nothing. I know. I want him to owe me. Not a bad tactic, though. Maybe this watcher is going to turn out to be an asshole as well. I can lead you to others like you. Humans. Won't that be nice? Oh, shit. It's a midget. Luckily. These midget human bitches cannot stand against our whip. It's a little bit weird that she's whipping these... I'm assuming these are like zombified kids to death. Because, you know, like... She does have kind of a weird 
dominatrix kind of vibe to her. So, you know, huh? whatever floats her boat. There we go. <clears throat> I mean, her dominatrix-ish vibe is not weird, but I don't know. I like this character. Although, I, out of all the horsemen, I think war is still, still my fave. Gotta stick with the OG, you know. It's gotta be a platform we can... I don't... Oh! I was being blind. It's all good. It's all good. It's not where we have to go, right? No way. So if I take a leap of faith and I end up dying, I'm gonna be... Pretty pissed. That's definitely not it. Do you gotta swing? Yes. If not, I discover the secret area. But no, this is where we have to go. What a boy. Before we do anything else, let's have a look at... our. I have quite a few consumables. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. -o. And wait, how many upgrade materials? Let's check. I have two of these angelic and demonic artifacts, so I think that means we can upgrade something, right? What would you ask of this? So we'll go back to Please the maker. <clears throat> because you know how it'd be. Gotta upgrade them weapons, because I, I smell a boss fight coming up. I smell a boss fight. Jeez, we're only 12 minutes in. That puzzle did go by quickly. Felt like I was stumped for a lot longer than I should have been. But I guess not. Maybe not. Sorry, just gotta adjust my mic a little bit. I always hate doing that on video, but... It's whatever. Alright, let's check out what we can do. So first of all, yeah, why not? Let's upgrade it. And enhancements. So we could do angelic artifact, physical and arcane damage with weapon up, and then health. Oh, so you can go for health or physical and arcane damage. Uh... Honestly, I kind of want health. The reason I want health is because I don't know how it works. If, if it will, oh, it just gives me more health, or if it's just gonna like, I don't know, whatever. Because I'm gonna upgrade my weapons normally as well. What would you ask of this? So you know, damage-wise, it's whatever. This Let's feed this fool. Ah. As you <coughs> not there yet. Or I was barely not there. Uh, yeah, let's go for... Arcane and let's go for strength. I feel like I've bought myself some leeway what with the... You, you know, with being able to... Uh increase my health through my weapon can focus a bit more on physical even though damage wise I'm not doing too badly still got kind of a stuffed nose though not anymore like yesterday on stream it was pretty bad Basically, as soon as I started streaming, the second I did it, my nose got hella stuffy. And I could have... I tried blowing it, but it didn't help. Looks like you could... 
No, they ain't. Are they like shooting shit at me? I wonder if we're gonna get a gun in this game. Like some sort of ranged weapon. That's what we're missing from our Ars and all. Look at this pro platforming. <clears throat> Throwing shit at me? Oh, fuck you. Because, <clears throat> you know, the gun was always satisfying to use in Darksiders 1 and 2. So I do wonder. A bit better to use in 1, I think. Because the 1 and 2 you had to reload. I saw the trap. I got nothing on me. Why does this feel like a boss area? You think? Fuck you. We got one. This is a, like a weirdly large area. I almost jumped into it. Yeah, I thought so. There I did jump into it. I didn't mean to do that. Of course they're immune, because why wouldn't they be? <clears throat> I'll pop a respite, why not? I also got my big ass super form, so... I'm not doing too badly, really. If there is a situation with a boss... Accurate as hell, though. <clears throat> Shit. Oh, come on. There we go. I gotta pop it. Cause, you know. What if there is a boss? Ha! Idiot. So they can activate their own trap. That's good. Please keep it fair. Of course, too small to counter. The little assholes. Doesn't look like you could jump on top of this. Worth a try though. God damn it. Sometimes it feels like you have to be like nowhere near it for it to be exploding on you. <coughs> Because, like, actually, if you look at her, she doesn't jump very far. Even double jump, she doesn't have, you know, that much forward momentum. Watch this. Nice, too. Satisfying. Oh, yeah? Guess it was still alive. How long until a boss? Let's take a guess. Fucking Benjen Stark weapon. I'm never gonna call it anything else but the Benjen Stark weapon. Oh shit. Yeah. Puzzle platforming. The only question is... Oh, you... Okay. Please tell me she doesn't take fall damage. She can't be that lame. Nah. It looks like you gotta... Weird. Oh, shit. Ah. God damn it. It's gonna do that thing where it shakes my controller because I'm on low health. This is not it for sure. It's also a second level, too. Oh, I see. Because you can go left as well. 
onto the T-Rex. Never mind, never mind. We'll wait for a Nephilim's respite and hope that I can survive onto... Oh, shit. I guess not. There must be like some way to get to the other side. Just gotta peed these traps, cause... Not traps like that, not, not the Gwendolyn style traps. But the exploding type. Huh. Weird, weird, weird. Oh, you swing. Looks like you can swing from those. Hold up. Yeah, okay. I got you, game. I got you. I just didn't think that area would be kind of... Or that platform would be so multi-layered. Did I just activate the PA? I think I just did. Alright boys, let's listen to T-Rex facts. What the hell? Oh, it's the roar. Okay. Let's just check if there's no no treasure. Like even after that boost, she has like very little forward momentum. Oh shit. Am I gonna die or am I gonna die? Wasn't watching, wasn't watching. I guess that's my fault. It's cause I'm not the watcher, I'm the horseman. Ha! Pun. I have puns, don't worry. <clears throat> I don't think I missed out on too much though. Shit. It's a bastard, cause like, even if you're paying attention, you can get caught up in them. The thing I don't remember is how far back this is. It's not that far. Not many enemies in the way. Alright. Oh, you can drop down as well. Not sure if there's any point. That treasure can be that valuable. Valuable. Shit, I really can't talk today. Alright. Gotta use this blast every single time, because... Maybe I'm just feeling insecure that I'm not gonna make it. In life and in Darksiders. Uh, but... You know. Who's behind? No one. Oh. Just frame jump. So otherwise, I would have been screwed. So the Benjamin Stark weapon seems pretty good against them. But I don't even care because the platform stays down. Cool. All we gotta do is... Yup. <clears throat> Alright, I thought this run back was gonna be worse, but... it I thought of it as worse because I had to do the puzzle. Shit. Ah. Never mind. That was just... Shitty platforming on my part. Speaking of platformers, I was looking at the Spyro Trilogy. Man, I really want to get that game. That game looks hella good. And let me tell you, I love Spyro. One of the first PlayStation games I ever played. Because <clears throat> basically how it was is we went to get a PS2 for my birthday. I was... I don't know, like, I was like nine. W are you fucking kidding me? This monster straight up just one-shot me. 
before I could even finish my story. <clears throat> cool. Well, okay. As I was saying... Um, so yeah, we went to get the PlayStation 2 at... They don't have it anymore, but uh, they used to have this thing called Electro World. Shout out to any Hungarians watching, which I know there's a few of you. You know what Electro World is. You remember that. It was basically like Best Buy or something. <clears throat> so anyways... We go there to get, the PlayStation, to get the PlayStation 2. We say to the guy we want it. And I think it must have been the time when they were discontinuing the PS1, you know. And I think the guy got some instructions to sell PlayStation 1s. <clears throat> Fuck, I'm losing my voice. <clears throat> To sell the PlayStation 1 instead of the 2, because like, he was like, you know what's better than PlayStation 2? A PlayStation 1. And we were like, what the fuck are you talking about, asshole? Of course the PlayStation 1 is not better than the PlayStation 2. That's why the PlayStation 2 is called 2. And he was like, yeah, 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 but it has this and this and this. And we were like, no, we want the 2. But, he still managed to convince us to get some PlayStation 1 games. And one of them was Spyro. I think Ripto's Rage. And... Got a couple of PlayStation 2 games as well. It's funny because I don't even remember what... PlayStation 2 games I got. But I do remember Spyro because... It's pretty much the only one I played. Which is, again... Shout out to the Electro World guy because... He hooked me up with Spyro. I think one of the games... I remember one of the games I got was the Getaway. Which was that GTA clone set in London. That was a f fucking good game as well. Looking back at it now, it would probably suck. I was watching footage of it on YouTube. And, well, you know, the story is good and all that. The gameplay is a little bit clunky. But it was one of the first games I saw that use the mechanic where you like lean against cover uh, to regain HP. Alright. Can't remember too many other games at that time that had that mechanic. Heal. Be I'm being careful against this thing. Interrupt me with the Molotov. Eat shit, monster. Got an adamantine out of it. I throw that thing. I dare you. Triple dare you, motherfucker. I thought this would be a shortcut you could unlock. Doesn't look like it. Alright, cool. I feel like going a little bit longer today. Because why not? I'm having fun. So yeah, again. The Spylo... Spylo? Spyro Trilogy. I gotta get that. Because... Spyro is lit. I think he's... Him and Crash Bandicoot are probably... The closest the PS ever got to having a mascot. But maybe it's just me. But I feel like Spyro is more... I don't know, I like Spyro more. Again, could be just what me. What manner of hoarder do we have here? Mistress, your talisman. Be wary. Oh, what's his name? This is gonna be... Not gluttony, but... Oh, shortcut? Everest. Right? That's one of the ones. So can we just like straight up not do that? And just move on? I know they said that you could choose sort of which ones you wanted to take on, but I don't know, man. The only reason I'm coming down here is because... Oh, this is the top of... I get where we are. Alright, this is not the path forward. 
these this is where they were throwing shit at me angelic artifact nice Sue. fuck are you kidding me yeah her platforming is kind of clunky all right backtrack time that was my dog in the background. Some of you watching the stream yesterday uh, were missing my dog because she always barks at least once during streams and all that. And yesterday she was tuckered out from the walk we had. But, you know, making up for it today. Cool. It shouldn't take too long. The reason I'm going down this path is because... I feel like it might lead back to the Volgrim uh, area. Because this feels like a little bit too long of a run back. I don't know. To a boss. I don't know. They could be they could be pulling an Iron Keep. Who knows. Or a Smelter Demon. Depending on how you want to refer to it. The boss run back that everyone hates. Seriously. That's one of the only, like, straight-up mistakes other than adaptability in Dark Souls 2, I think. I, I think Dark Souls 2 is pretty coherent, you know, as an experience. But that Iron Keep run back... Well, actually, I shouldn't say that, because there's the... Oh! Well, apparently I'm blind and stupid. What cool. What we're gonna do is show your wares. Show your junk, Volgrim. We'll buy one. As you wish. <laughs> ah. What would you? <laughs> I thought that restocked your, <clears throat> your whatever. I guess it doesn't. There wasn't much that the humans got right, but they did no art. What? Frankly, I think it's one of the reasons that the angels were so jealous of them. Have you ever seen one of those birds paint? You're talking about art. Now. Here. It's a museum. Well, certainly, we have our mission. I'm just saying. Oh, shit. A bathtub. Oh, look at this guy. That's really cool. Avarice, fury. <laughs> Welcome to my hall of I like the design on this guy a lot. Unfortunately, you forgot to pay the entrance fee. Your life. Take it if you dare, wretch. Yeah, badass. Your Okay. He is jumpy, that's for sure. Ouch. He's gonna throw shit at us. Ouch. He does have quite a bit of HP, it seems like. Yes, I'm dodging like an asshole. I will be the first one to admit that. Ouch. Look at them counters. You know what? Just gotta remember, this doesn't give you... Uh... Invincibility, unlike whatever form does. I always want to call it Devil Trigger, but that ain't it. Oh, he has a bathtub now. Ouch. 
Do you see the healing to dodge into counter? Ouch. And then into shit dodging. Okay. Gotta pop it. More for the heals. Yeah. No matter, no matter. <clears throat> he has a fridge now. Ouch. Shit. Cannot heal. Ah, no. I was so close. Damn it. I was literally one or two hits away. Whatever. We'll give it one more try in this episode. This, he doesn't seem that difficult. I, to be fair, I had some assy dodges there. He's not, again, he's not that hard. You shouldn't really be getting hit by the stuff he throws at you. Honestly. <clears throat> yeah, you gotta be careful with the health shards because there's a cool cooldown. You also have this, this fortification. Doesn't this give you increased defense? We'll try it. God damn it. He sounds like the Joker. It's actually like easier to dodge against when he has a weapon or something with him. Okay, no way to dodge that I think. Whatever, I'll take that. Alright. I feel like I'm doing worse. Am I doing worse? I think I'm doing worse. You can dodge that. Yeah, for sure doing worse. Here's a shelf. Here's a lot of range on that. I'm timing those terribly, I swear. Always when he's jumping up. He does stagger. Oh, <clears throat> wombo combo. He does stagger them pretty well. Man, I'm not gonna have... I don't wanna go too, too far. As in, too, too long. I think I'm gonna wrap it up here. Pretty good time to end it, because I'm losing my voice again at two. <clears throat> yeah, it doesn't seem too hard. I just gotta be a little bit better at dodging, because this is entirely my fault that I'm getting killed. Yeah, I'll wrap it up. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Darksiders 3.
And there's a free healing shard. Yeah, that's good. Thanks. Forgot there's no gestures in this game. I, that's what I was... I was like pressing the start button like, what the fuck? There's no gestures. So yeah, peace out, guys.